Okay, now I'm going to record so the other part of the uh, this rectangular prism. So we have finished uh, closing and opening these two sides. To make, we have two methods. I'll show you the first. Um, first of all, I am going to uh, rotate the base rectangle around one of the edge. And instead of two mapping points, I'll show you either this angle, this angle doesn't work, so I'll just like make this angle, and this angle is 180 degrees minus the angle of the first rotation. So it works. Here is, I'll just like now close and check if it's working nice. It works nice and good. So uh, let's close this one, and there is a good part in here. I just see this square in here with this rectangle. I can directly construct my square by just pointing out from here. This is the first point, this is the second point, another point, another point. Here is that. Let's hide this rectangle. It looks fine, isn't it? So it looks good. Let's open it and if it works nice, open. Uh -oh. It doesn't work. The reason, the reason I'm going to undo is because, like, now which point did I use to construct the square, the intended square? Let me say intended square because it's not a square. Um, I used that point, that point. These two points were the points of these rectangles. It wasn't on this one, so that's the reason it didn't construct a square. So I will delete this one okay now the same problem might happen if i use if i construct the same uh, square right like this if you're working on a three dimensional program what you do is you just like you know don't construct things on the end points like this is one of the end points this is another end point just to somewhere in the middle and make sure that you're working on this plane so i'll construct a square on this plane this time, I open the circle here. Uh, first of all, I need to find the point on this line segment PC. I am going to construct a circle in this plane that's been covered by this convex polygon. You see that that's highlighted. And then the this is the radius, and this is going to be the uh, center of that. From now on, I can do two things. First of all, if I would like to use the square in here, the square asks me to find the center point. The center point is the uh, midpoint of the vertexes in here, vertices in here. It's going to be right these two points, I mean the middle of that point. Or I can go to a, like no another point is um, I can choose this plane as a to construct a circle. This is going to be radius, and this time the center in here. The point right in here, that point, that point, that point, and that point are the vertices of my convex uh, the square. So instead of just like I'm taking square, I can choose the polygon in here, and I can find the intersection point, intersection point. Make sure that you are going to the right part and here validate here is that now I can hide the rectangle I can hide the circle if you can select it just like no move rotate and try to find where you can select it it's sometimes difficult to, to select three dimensional objects I will do it this way I'm going to rotate uh, I'm not sure why I can't select it here on the bottom, I selected. Here is that. Now I closed that side. You see? Here is that. It's nice. Now I can do a rotation of this square. Look, I use the convex polygon tool, and because all the sides are equal, the computer knows that this is a square. So I didn't use a square tool, but know the square. I am going to rotate this square. 
around this time center, this line, map one of the points on the edge of the square to the reverse direction. I am close the four sides of this rectangle into its length. So this is done. I will stop it. Okay, let's continue with closing the top parts. Uh, if I didn't close this, let me show you this original construction because that's why we are doing this one. On top part, there are four distinct parts that are closing together. So to, to match this, I need to have four of those uh, closing lids and then I rearrange them to fit like these. So um, I'll go back to our construction. I need four of them. So let's do one of those and let's see if we can achieve with these angles. Um, and also I'll, I'll, I'll show you another method on the other one. So I rotate this convex polygon around this edge and let's see if this works with this angle. It doesn't work. It's rotated on the like counterclockwise 35 degrees, which I didn't want it. I choose this one, it's 140 degrees again, counterclockwise. It's not what I wanted. How many degrees did I want it? It's rotate counterclockwise. That I'm trying to investigate. So I'm using the angles. It doesn't work as I want it. So now I think how many angles, how much angles that it needs to rotate. So it's counterclockwise. First of all, huh? it needs to for 180 degrees and then more, this much of an angle it needs to rotate. So 108 degrees, more of like, now this is, in this case, it's about 35 degrees, 35 degrees more. So I'll need another calculation, 180 degrees plus, this much, so I'll put my result here, now I'll use this, I will rotate this convex polygon around this edge, but if I can, I'll rotate this convex polygon, this much of an angle, around this edge, so it works, because 180 degrees plus 35 degrees, let me complete and now it's closed fine enough. Do you see that? It just closes nice. <coughs> Bless you. It closes nice and clean. So this is one method to use these angles. You can use minus, for example, angles if you would like to clockwise. If, if it's clockwise, you can use another minus, another negative sign, you make it like the counterclockwise. So you play with the angles as you wish. But first of all, discover how much of an angle that you wanted. So let's do another one for with a different method. So this this one. So I could use the same method with the angles in here, but this time I would like to use a perpendicular bisector, and I'll make a plane in here. I'll do reflection. Make the reflection in this plane. Reflection of reflection in this plane of this one. So when I reflect the bottom on this part or this reflection angle, it's going to be the same. I don't really discuss. I I didn't just like you know, really mess with the angles, but I did the reflection. So it works fine. The next question is. Let's close this one, hide this one. Control M is a shortcut. I need another two more lids that close, but the lid needs to be the same size with the bottom. So I need to do that. How am I, how I going to do that? So in this part, I rotated this side to, to create this because these were exactly the same sizes. But this is not. So I can't use the angle method in here. So I am going to use the perpendicular bisector method. So I will reflect in this plane, and I'll uh, reflect this polygon. So it's gonna work. 
I'll do the same thing. I'm going to construct a mirror in here. Reflect in this plane. This time, like this. I'll close. Hide the plane. Now, whenever I close it, four of the sides close all together at the same time. Okay. Why I need four? Let's go back to the original construction. Because four different thumbs, but I need just like a quarter of each of those to make one hole. So what I'll do is, so for this one, whenever I construct anything on the three-dimensional program, I don't do that when it's all full open. I open enough to, to work on this. I of course I'll have some of these ones. So first of all, I'll find the midpoint of each section, midpoint, 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 midpoint is here. I'll construct another midpoint for example. I need a midpoint here. Here is that. I'll construct a rectangle, a quarter of a rectangle than the original one. I didn't do so I something weird, so I'll need to fix it. So this, that, that, and load it. Here. Now I will hide the big one. I'll hide the points that I don't need it. Now I'll change the colors, the border, the surface color to red. It looks it's closer. So I'll do the same thing, like which part that you would like to hide. So now I'll hide this part of the this thumb. Open that. Just I'm gonna show you this part and I'll I'll stop in here. So I'll find the midpoint, 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 again the midpoint. So I will find I'll construct this thing. I'll hide this rectangle. Recolor this small rectangle with yellow. Whenever I close, let me show you this. So there, there, there's the green ones on top of each other, but the yellow and uh, red one just next to each other. That close well. I'll do the same thing. So I'm going to close this part and hide the red. I will do this part and the rest. What I'm doing is I'm constructing rectangles with different colors and then hiding the, the, the things that I don't want. So that's how I construct this original image that I have in here. Let me show you one more time so it's going to be like this. So this is a decoration. So the only thing that we need to finish was the decoration.